you've also written a paper in which you say that you don't think police ought to enforce traffic laws because it may lead to inequity. Do you remember that paper from 2023? Yes, Senator. Why is that? You don't want police to enforce traffic laws? I mean, it just seems to me, I'm having trouble following your positions here. You, you don't want the immigration laws to be enforced. You apparently think that any detention of illegals at the border is motivated by political calculations and is illegitimate, and you don't want police to be enforcing traffic laws. But you want to be a judge. How is this going to work? Senator, the piece that you are citing um, documented efforts by cities along with police departments, and in some cases actually led by police departments, to move enforcement of things like hanging an air freshener from a rear view mirror to, for example, ticket by mail or parking enforcement, which would in turn free up police resources to focus on more serious enforcement. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost done, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, that, that, not just that, though. I mean, I, I encourage people to read the paper. In fact, I've got it right here. It's 14 pages. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd ask consent to enter into the record the road to driving equality. Um, uh, frankly, it, it, is, it is full of, of positions that I think are just Nuts. I mean, saying that things like running traffic lights, stop signs, these things can't be enforced, that we, the police ought to get out of enforcement of traffic laws altogether. I mean, I don't understand it. It sounds like to me, you don't want enforcement at the border. You don't want enforcement of our traffic laws. You don't want police enforcement in our cities. I just question whether that is a good set of perspectives to be a judge whose job will be to enforce the law. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, 